Hello Barmy Badger Army. Hi. Welcome to today's show. Hope you're all well. I'm here with Viking and we're going to be talking about the local farm shop. Yes, Bramble mm. Down Farm Shop in Bramble Down on the Isle of Shippy. Indeed. Yes. Lovely. Indeed. My, one of my favourite places to go. Yes, mine too actually. It's really nice. Just for the, like local shopping stuff. Yes, and it's quite cute isn't it? And it's nice. It is, because it's not like a gigantic farm shop stroke. Well, it's not even, it doesn't sell plants anymore. Rarely throughout the year it might do. And yes, it's a golden spot. Indeed, and it's got a lovely little cat as well. Yeah, I don't know what the cat's name is. A little black and white cat. I just refer to it as Brian. Brian the cat. I once said, oh, I wonder what your name is to it. And I just said, Brian. And it kind of looked up at me. So I've named it Brian. Maybe Been that maybe that was its spirit name. The spirit name is Brian the cat. Mm. Uh, Indeed, yeah. yeah. Well, do you say that some cats have got a name that you just need to sort of guess it, don't you? Meow. Meow, indeed. Yeah. But yes, so please enjoy these short little clips of the farm shop. Thanks to Viking, indeed. Yes. Yes. Windy. Windy. Enjoy the clips and we'll see you in a sec. Bamble down farm shop. Let's look, there's a chicken sack. Oh, yeah. Little garden centre, massive barrels, little books. It's normally a lady with a stool out here. Pet star. <laughs> Lots and lots of pet stuff. Lots and lots of pet stuff. Potatoes. Sweets, drinks. Lots and lots of fruit. Lots of veg. Lovely staff. Absolutely lovely staff. Bakery. Butchers. Last bit of bakery. Last bit of baldy butchers. Samosas. Samosas are awesome. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the clips, and that was a great little vlog, thanks to Viking. Very quick, very sharp, very lovely. But yeah, I would say that um, if you want to get some cheap produce from there, it's really good. But it's not, it's just local. Usually. Local and a good bargain if as well. If you are able to, and it's affordable for you, try to shop as local as possible. That's so it. It's not just local food produce, it's, that's stuff made locally that's it try to keep some of your high street going if you can that's it because obviously everyone moans oh yeah wilco's is shutting down this uh, shop's know, shutting yeah. down this shop's place. shutting down this shop's shutting down it's because no one goes in them anymore no one goes in them so what do you expect if no one goes in the local shops and the the local malls and the local le leisure complexes or whatever they're called these days then then it's gonna shout, isn't it? It's like oh, we want to shop for local people. Right? It's like <laughs> no one went in game. Yeah, everyone's like, oh, game shutting down. Yeah. You know why? Because no one went in there. And calm down, calm down. And the main reason why the one in Romford's shutting oh. is because it, it slapped right bang to CEX. Game was there first, and then CEX has obviously driven it out of business. No offence, CEX. No, no, no. Don't put it down to CEX because that's second hand. So if you want a new game when it comes out, you're going to go to game. Yes. If you don't like it, you go to CEX, you go and sell it to them and get some money back. Yeah. Get other things in game. The problem being is that game don't earn enough money or didn't earn enough money That's it. to keep the stores open because local councils and things charge quite a lot of money for um, rates after what well, they're three to six months when they change the rates. So this is why people's high streets are going, but the councils there are just going, well, we won't halve it down anymore. That's even it. for little like in, independent companies because they want to make money. I'm like, well, you're not making any money. There's nothing been in that shop for two years. That's it, yeah. You're not making any money because there's nothing there. It's like, <laughs> I'm sure that there's people in the audience that would empathize. It's like, I walk past Debenhams and stuff yeah, there's stuff in my local Debenhams now, but it's like, it's not that great. I would have rather Debenhams was still there. You know, and it's a real shame that big, sort of solid companies like that go. You know, Debenhams was a big pillar of uh, community. We get back to the farm shop. 
Yes, let's get back to the farm shop. Yeah. Omega ADHD segue. The farm shop is nice. They've got a car wash outside. People wash it by hand. They do a great job. And got a chicken shack. Chicken shack. Places to stop. Just you know, burger wagon type thing. That's they it. They used to have an ice cream one there last year, but that's not there this year. And they've got the seafood store they've had for donkeys years is still that's there. It. Baldy it butchers. Wasn't, wasn't open the other day when we went there, but no. it's still there. Yeah, you've got baldy butchers. You have the few little planty type stuff out at the front. Mm -hmm. um, Cracking media got some banging goat there the other day. Yeah, baldy butchers. You got some goat, and we had curried goat. Curry goat, not coat curry. Oh, we do have goat curry, we had curry goat. That's it. Um, and rice and peas, which mm. I did rice and peas. Very nice, so very yummy. Yeah. Thing. Very yummy. Boyce's Bakery, which used to be Lays Down Bakery, which is now Boyce's Bakery. Mm -hmm. They do like this selection of cream cakes and they do synthetic cream cakes. <laughs> Bang in. Suit you, sir. Suit you, sir. Uh, they do some nice stuff. They do some like, you know, jars of locally made jars of What? Jars of dirt. Jars of dirt. I've got a jar of dirt. I've got a jar of dirt. No, I haven't. No, no. no. But yeah, they were really nice. And I would say the sandwiches are a smidgen expensive. But other than that, everything else, very they reasonably are, priced. They are massive, though. They're, like, they're, they're a, like a little sub. I said little sub there. Doorstep. Yeah, again, nice, nice. Card, so but yeah, there was a big doorstep bun, so they are worth it, but they are pricey. I did enjoy, uh, I think we had some cakes there the other week, and they were really nice. We did, and they, you had a Chelsea bun. Yes, not Chelsea smile, they're dangerous. But yeah, yeah Chelsea dangerous. buns are nice. They won't suit you. No, they, they don't suit anyone, really. But they do like fresh fruit and veg, weird fruit and veg, which yes. most people that you know live in cities or near cities will not think is weird. This is why I'm down in the middle of nowhere. Yes, and uh, there must have been, I must admit, there was bits and pieces I was looking at going, what the hell's this? It's like a little pie. What was that? It was like, um... Oh, that was, um, a courgette. Yeah, it was that like was a... a courgette. It's a the yellow thing that, that sort of, like, is, it does, yeah, it does look like a little pot. Yeah, it was a little, it was a little pie, pot. yeah. To me, that's not a weird thing, because that's, like, normal, like, locally grown stuff. Um, so those sort of things are not weird, but because Badger Junior things... even said, Oh, you know, you could put pastry around it, shove it in the oven. <laughs> I've always been used to them selling things like um, yams and things in it, they've always done that. Mm. But they're, they're starting to up it to sort of like uh, the first time I think I've ever realized that they actually sold plantain in there, yeah. And they weren't tiny, they were huge, they were big, they were, they were nice, yeah. yeah. And then they do all manner of different chilies, different kinds of garlic. So mm -hmm. smoked garlic, I love smoked garlic. Oh, smoked garlic. A massive sack of potato. That's it, yeah. You can get um, horse feed in there, everything for horses, cats, dogs. That's it. Other pets. Ooh. And of course. Stuff. And freshwater fishing stuff, they say. Nice. Well. And my favourite bit, the book swap. That's at the front. I've had that there for years, and and up until recently, I just assumed all the books had been there for years because there was thousands upon thousands yeah. of books. But people obviously haven't been swapping a book. There's people have been taking a book, <gasps> and there's no charity thing at the front. No, so no one's been donating to charity. They've got charity containers inside, which did look like they needed to be emptied. So mm. hopefully, someone's been donating. Hopefully, I will be refreshing it by putting some more books on there and putting some DVDs there as well. So that'll yeah, be good. Yeah, they had a few DVDs as mm. well. Oh, they, they sell um, log burning stuff, so yeah. That's it. Perhaps the ones that we've burning. watched from the charity shop we'll put there instead and then it refreshes that as well, which I think You're coming good. out of holiday season, they probably sit there for another year. And then I'll borrow them again. <laughs> yes. Yes. But the first time we went to the book swap thing, there was a lovely little lady there, wasn't there? She was selling, like, local ladies selling, like, wax melts. Um, yeah, and then she was really sweet as well. She was That's very it. healthy because she wanted to get a book and she helped you get the book. That's it, which is very kind of her. Picked up a, um, a sci-fi book for you, didn't I? Because you like the original sort I of like old-fashioned really artwork. I like really old, sort of, like, 60s and 70s sci-fi books. That's so it, yeah. They're easy to read and they're quite, they're quite cool. That's it, yeah. Whereas I picked up... Um, I'm, I need to start reading the hard. I like old school stuff, so I'm reading the Hardy Boys at the minute, Dennis Wheatley, and I'm going to start reading some uh, Demon Headmaster books next week, which is going to be cute. 
here i'm a bit on the i like i do like a modern one so at the moment i'm reading uh the demon cycle series by mm. peter v brett and i can't mm. recommend them enough Mm. Tell us what books you like in the comments below. And thank you very much, everyone, oh, for watching. Go, off, go on. What's your favourite veg? Uh, Got you, bro. Oh, God. Ah. <laughs> go on. Favourite veg? Not baked beans. No, that's no. not really. That's a. I can't even pronounce what it's called. Like lean something. It's basically a bean. A bean. I like. Veg. I like potatoes. Potatoes. That's, that's a starchy veg. Carrot, carrots? Carrots is, carrots is a vegetable. Carrots is a vegetable. Um, I can't even pronounce my favourite one. It's like a romaine in something. It's basically a green cauliflower, but the whole thing is like right. geometric. So all the little bits are a tiny version of the actual bigger thing. Oh, okay. If you look at them and they go around in spirals, and each tiny little thing, it's like inception in a vegetable. Okay, well, let us know what that is. If you know what that is in the comments, let us know. Yeah, but yeah, no, I'm a big fan of like sort of root veg, I would say. I like a nice root veg, like a good old hearty parsnip. Indeed. <laughs> parsnip and a carrot. Yes, good old parsnip and a carrot. What about a swede? Swede. That turnip. sort of turnip. turnip. Yes, all the root veg. All the root veg. And not kale. Kale can get in the bin. We don't like kale. I like kale. Kale, no. It's like... Sprouts can do one. It sprouts. I love sprouts. Especially fried. Bit of butter. Right. If you mm, deconstruct, cheese. If you deconstruct a sprout, chop it up. Butter, bacon, chestnuts. I'll eat that. That's nice. Uh, deconstruct. You mean you chop it up into the tiniest bit possible, turn it into a foam, put it on a plate and go, hmm. No, not quite. Sprout right. foam. No. Yes. No. See, what I love is sprouts... Bacon, cheese, bit of milk, cheese. salted. Hang on. Bacon, cheese, and a bit Crackers of milk. Crackers coming through with another spoon. Oh, we got another quick spoon before we go. Spoon. So, because I've elbowed the meat, well, there's a bit of pie carb on it. There we go. Oh, okay. so it's, it's got a bit weird. Let's try it. Let's try. Is it still right? Mm. That's still good. Yeah. Still, still good. good. Woo! It's changed a little bit, but it's still good. Still good, right. Mm. Yeah, at this rate, people are going to be asking for a <laughs> sweet and sour curry review. Right. Okay, look after yourselves. Keep safe, we keep well. Do much love, everyone. And see you in the next vlog, video, stream, or short. Thank you very much for watching this uh, local video about local produce and local shops. Support your local businesses. Indeed. And tell us some of your favourite local businesses that you support in the comments below. And don't forget... If you can, support the show with the 99p membership as it really does help and will help us make new films, new content and new stuff. New stuff. And more reviews. And feed the Jaffa biscuits, Jaffa cakes, Jaffa pies, whatever. That's it, indeed. Right. Jaffa. Jaffa cakey. Jaffa right, indeed. And please don't forget to drop us a line with your weird and wacky ideas for films in the comments. And then you never know, they may be turned into reality. Yes, we like this. Yes, we like this. We're currently working on a new cringe dating and we are currently working on Essex FBI Investigates Forest of Ash, which is funnily enough the sequel to Forest of Ash. So, yeah. Tumbleweed. Tumbleweed, yeah. And if you haven't seen those, please watch them. Because they're good. Because that's hilarious. Begetomania, really and of course, um, our other favourite, which was uh, the sauce. sauce. No, it wasn't. That's not a film. It was, of course, Excellent Adventure, which uh -huh. was hilarious indeed. Excellent. Which features the return of the meditation it's ghost. Yes, because there is an agency one ghost. Uh, yes, an agency that's it indeed. Yes, <laughs> and let us know if you can come up with an idea. For a meditation ghost film, I'll be willing to listen Ooh, because that'd be. We could get this all done for Halloween. Come on, have some ideas. Anyone's... Have some ideas. If you guys it's can like think up a plot line for a meditation ghost theme film, I would do it. Or even a short. Meditation cringe dating. Oh God. The meditation ghost. Oh no. Go on a date. Right there we go. Ah. That's a banging addition to. <laughs> Oh, that is gonna sheet now. That is gonna be hilarious. That is gonna be banging and yeah. that will be in cringe day in the sequel. Right, that's something to look forward to. Thank you very much for watching. And if you want to expand upon that idea, hit me up. 
Indeed, Viking is going to be filming a short film for us all very soon. We're going to sort that out. Uh, it's going to be an ultra short one and it's going to be really spooky. So it's going to be really good. And of course, Kraken Media should be working on one soon. Fingers crossed, please. Right, bye. 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 Bye.